You're serious about your music, and you're ready to build a team to take things to the next level. But what does a team look like? To get a better idea of when and how to build a team, we talk to people across the industry. Lotus. Hola. Hola. What's up? Oh, yes. It's a honey lemon and ginger. Oh, it smells yeah. amazing. <laughs> Artists should consider building a team the minute that there's money being exchanged. Once I had music that I really believed in, that was the only time I really felt like I was ready to build something. It's all about assembling a team that's just as hungry as you or even more. It's no days off, not over here. I'd look at manager, uh, booking agent, lawyer. I would probably flip that. I mean, maybe you might want to get a lawyer first. Do I have an attorney? Uh, yes, I have an attorney. <laughs> the truth is, it's different for all artists because everyone has different needs at different times. It just depends on what stage you're at in your career. This is Troy. Hi. He runs Creative Services. Sometimes there are 50 key team members around any, any one artist. So for a new artist, that one key team member might be your road manager or your manager. Um, honestly, I really wasn't looking for no manager. I was just looking to gain fans. <laughs> <laughs> From the creative services team, here's Drew and Brian. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I, don't do that. I don't want to do a thumbs up. What does a manager do? A manager helps you navigate the murky waters of the music industry. Your manager is really the hub. This is Stephanie. Hi. She manages artists like Santa Gold and Sid. We sit between everyone to make sure that they're all doing what they're supposed to do and they're executing your vision. You really want somebody who's going to have your back somebody that you can trust. What makes a great manager is they have all of the resources and the contacts to help expand your business. Find somebody who really, really loves your music. It's either going to be someone that you are already extremely close with or it's going to be somebody that you admire or respect because of their business experience. So when do you need a booking agent? As soon as there's demand for your music and people want to see you play. It's really hard to get onto some of these big shows if you don't have someone that's really well connected. You don't have to have a booking agent, but um, I think they take off a, a load of work off your shoulders. So what makes a good lawyer? A good lawyer can help you as an artist get the best deal, the best contract. It's really just to make sure that you're not signing your life away when you first start out, which happens a lot. So when's the right time to start building this dream team? There's no rule book to it at this point. You can do so many things on your own. When an artist is looking for a team, you've got to find people who have passion for what you're doing because you're asking that person to care as much about your art and your craft as you do. But at the end of the day, no one is more important than the artist, right? Uh, I think I'm the best ever. That's keeping it humble. Yeah. There's just no way that someone on your team can be more excited about your art than you. It just doesn't make sense. You most definitely have to be the hardest working person in your team, and you know, that's how I got here. And it'll never change. Cool. Thanks for the breakdown, y'all. That's it for now. See you next time.